so I don't even have to wait for it to load up because I have 10 subscribers and I don't get any of them. I'm just going to go with it and just chat, probably ramble. So this is Miss Cruiser coming to you from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, a beautiful beach dirty beach and once you go to like the Bahamas, uh, Jamaica, uh, Mexico, St. Thomas, some of the other places you realize, hey Tanya, you realize that uh, Myrtle Beach or the beaches um, on the east coast at least it's very dirty. Um, I like to actually swim in the ocean but I will not get into this dirty ocean. But anyway, I came on basically to talk about why I changed my name from Faye Geneva to Miss Cruiser. Um, I like to travel and I travel quite often and um, I have been on 11 cruise so far with both Royal and Caribbean um, but that's not the only traveling I do I also travel to Virginia Beach Myrtle Beach Buck Row Beach any beach I can get and get me a good old discount girl I am there but anyway um, so that's why I changed. people started saying that um, I should do uh, videos on how I how I am able to cruise because I'm not rich I do not have a sugar daddy not really and um, I don't have a trust fund um, I got a pretty good job but I also have bills three kids two in college so um, that being said um, so I wanted to go over some of the, the pointers that I have concerning uh, having the ability to travel I also go to jazz, a lot of jazz fairs um, I've gone to Orlando this year. Um, I, I mean, I, when I say I travel, I really travel. I travel probably uh, do maybe 13 small trips a year or more. Um, I probably do about six major trips a year. And so the first thing is, how do I get time off from work? Well, I've been on my job for 13 years. So I have pretty good uh, vacation PTO. And um, I also use flex time because uh, I'm a salary, salary employee. So I can use some flex time. Second thing I do is I have a lot of Hilton points. I let those suckers add up. I get Hilton points for rental cars. I get Hilton points for hotels that I use. Um, I usually use my credit cards. Uh, <laughs> I have two only. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not saying it like I got a bunch of credit cards. But I usually use my credit cards so I can get points off that. So I travel with points. Uh, what else did I do? Um, the resort that I'm staying at right now, I am using a friend's vouchers. I have uh, friends who have, uh, what do you call those? Uh, what do you call those? Time sharings. Or friends who actually own condos. So I tap into those. I use friends. I, you know, I give friends a couple of dollars, 50, 60 dollars. They let me use their condo. Or in this case, I did have a voucher uh, from a company that I've used a couple of times for some travels with some, with some groups. So I have this condo, which is a two bedroom condo with a full kitchen, a full living room, four beds in it, two full bathrooms, beautiful uh, condo that usually around this time would go for $115 a night. Well, I got it for a total of $81. That, in, that includes tax and um, fees. I got it for $81 and I'm here till Sunday. So these are these are ways, and I'm not in any travel clubs. I don't do travel clubs or anything like that. I just do um, practical things to, um, this helicopter right here, I've been in it before. It's like a, um, it's a tour thing. You can pay like $45 and they'll take you over the whole, all of Mer anyway, Um But that's, what, that's pretty much how I travel. I, I take it. Hopefully I reconnected. I hope I did. So as I was saying, you book your cruise with one of the major uh, cruise companies, cruise lines, and you get you like an inside room or ocean view room, and you wait for them to upgrade you for like forty dollars. We'll upgrade you to the next biggest room or a balcony room for ninety dollars or forty dollars, whatever they're offering at the time, and you save money for forty dollars, whatever they're offering at the time, and you save money on that because if you would have booked that balcony room in the first place you would have paid about two hundred dollars more so i have all so i have all kinds of little tricks and tips and things that i will be sharing hey april that i will be sharing um concerning how you can uh travel 
uh, for very little. I'm gonna give it an example, and I think I gave this an example in another video when I was in Cozumel, Mexico uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, my airline ticket, my hotel for two nights, because I like to stay the night before, and I like to stay, my hotel for two nights, because I like to stay the night before, and I like to stay when I come back off the cruise, I like to stay in Miami an extra night. Uh, so my airline ticket, two nights hotel, and the cruise, balcony room on the Lido decks, and my drink package, because everybody know that Faye needs to drink her Ciroc, and my drink package, all of that, I paid $840 total. I had unlimited drinking on this cruise, okay, alcohol. And basically, again, how I did that was, I used a Legion Airline round trip, $120 from Miami, I flew in North Carolina, so I flew from Concord, North Carolina, which is right outside of Charlotte. I flew from Concord, North Carolina, straight into Miami, nonstop. Round ticket, $120. I, mean, I flew into Fort Lauderdale, took an Uber over to Miami. Stayed at the Hampton Inn Hotel, brand new hotel. It's only been open a year. Used my Hilton points. So that, uh, the first night was free, totally free. I used my Hilton point. When we came back on Friday, we stayed overnight till Saturday. That was $97. Again, brand new hotel. This hotel goes for $189 plus tax a night. Um, concerning the cruise, uh, again, I, when I booked it, I booked the inside room. They kept upgrading me, upgrading me, upgrading me until I was in a, um, a balcony room on the Lido deck. So these are things that, and I don't, you know, and I like to do group travels, for example. I like to come down here for bike week. Everybody heard of Black Bike Week. I ride bikes. Haven't rode in a, in a while. I don't own a bike, but so I'm, I'm usually jumping on the back of one. But anyway, I like to come down here for bike week. I just get me a, like a four room condo, find me some people who want to come, divide the price down by the room. Boom, you paying about $200 to stay in Myrtle Beach during bike week for four days. You know, things like that. So if you're interested in traveling, you really don't have to drive or join a travel club, anything like that. There are a lot of ways that you can do that. Because again, like I said at the beginning of the video, I go on about 13. This right here, me being at Myrtle Beach for these two days, this is considered to me, I consider this a small trip. It's not a vacation, it's just a small trip. Uh, I, I do these about 12, 13 or more a year. Uh, major major uh, travels, I do anywhere from six to seven a year. And again, I'm not rich. I do not have um, a trust fund and there is no man that's shooting me any major money. In case anybody go dig into my background, be like, you got a sugar daddy? No, I don't. You know, I might get a few dollars here or there, but I don't get no major money. Anyway, that's not neither here or there. I'm teasing. Um, so I just wanted to share that. And if anybody have any questions, please email me. Do I want to give my email address? It's so much going on. I'll find a way for everybody to contact me. Because um, if you're like me, I'm divorced, three kids, my kids are grown. But, you know, it's like every now and then it's great to uh, get away from all the responsibility. And just enjoy yourself, you know, and you work hard. You might as well enjoy the fruit of your labors. You know, and I like to enjoy the fruit of my labor without having to go into debt. So that's my spiel. I think this is my first live. And uh, so, signing off now. I think Bonnie Vine 45 is gonna go on tonight. We'll every, because everybody, everybody's giving information of what they think happened or what they heard happen. Um, happened. <laughs> and so, uh, I wanna drop that tea. But, you know, I only, I don't want to give any tea or drop any receipts or give any information, however people want to put it, and then have to come back and give uh, <laughs> put out a video where nobody knows what I'm talking about and I'm speaking in circles trying to apologize or correct some, some false information that I gave before. I want to make sure that I have the permission of the people who information. You can information. You can 